Hey guys, what's up? This is Yash here and I'm back with the part two of free website builders. And as you can see, we've been using Wix. So if you haven't already checked out part one, do check out the links in the description. And if you haven't signed up, do check out the video first video, sign up and then come back to this one. So moving on in the last video, I showed you how you can edit the text and in this video let's try uh, modifying the strips background so what Wix does is uh, divide the site into different strips so each strip is essentially a separate section so once you click on top of a strip you can see change strip background scroll effect layouts stretched and help so as I've already told you the help option is basically to give you guidance on how you can use this the stretched option basically tells if it's stretched or not so it will basically stretch the strip to the whole screen or just to the page so if i go to page it will stretch it or it will keep the background limited to the part of the page whereas if i give it stretch to screen it's gonna fit the whole screen so coming to layouts uh, you can add different layouts like align content to right left and center but we're just going to leave it to center because it looks beautiful as it is. So coming to scroll effects, uh, these are effects that are applied when a user scrolls through a website. And as I've already told you, Wix is a really, really great editor. And as you can see, once you select a particular scroll effect, it will give you or it will uh, show you of uh, the animation it's going to throw in or even if you hover over so i'm just gonna use zoom in because i like it so let's move forward to change strip background so once you move forward to change strip background it's gonna give you options to add colors images and videos or you can uh, style your image by using some settings such as opacity the color behind the image and how the image is scaled and where the image should be positioned Do you want to add any alternate text here so now I'd recommend you that you add alternate text to every image you place on your website so the reason being uh, accessibility so what do you mean by accessibility accessibility basically means your website is accessible to the physically challenged blind people so that uh, they can access your website so they use special tools such as screen readers which uh, read out this alternate text that you provide so I'd really suggest you add alternate text so we're gonna just be changing images so as you can see Wix has some basic options but I want a more sophisticated image so once I click on image wait for it to open a pop-up menu so now uh, Wix has different options to add images so once you check out the explore section you can see Wix has a great media gallery of its own. It lets you choose images, royalty free images from Shutterstock. It lets you choose images from Unsplash. And one more interesting feature about Wix is once you go to site files, it will ask you to upload your own media. Now, uploading media from your desktop is okay. But Wix also allows you to upload media from Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, and a lot of other options and in the end they also give you an option to customize uh, or add a customized link to the image which basically gives you the freedom to host or take images from anywhere so that's a really great feature by wix and that's about it but right now i'm going to be selecting an image uh, from media from wix itself because i don't have anything chosen so let's choose an image of sand dunes and click on change background so once we click on change background it should take around 30 seconds to update it and as you can see it's updated so soon by just the click of a button you can change the images that's how easy it is to use wix so let's say you want to customize a button now let's click on this button and as you can see most of this has already come up so we have seen the animation option and we've seen the layouts option now let's click on change text now change text is basically a 
a field that tells you what text is displayed so i'm just going to change it to book and once i press x it gets saved automatically now one another option uh, which is important for buttons is linked so the link option basically tells you where does this button link you to so there are different options like web addresses anchors top or bottom of page document email phone number light box so i have chosen web address as the default and it opens it sorry i've chosen page as the default and it opens the fall activities page in the current window so that that's the default settings you can change it and try out different stuff the anchor is basically uh you know to move around to any different part of the page and the document is basic as you can see the document email and phone number are options that links directly either to a mailbox or to call the mobile number or directly open document and the web address is nothing but a website in itself so that's about editing buttons now let's say you want to add a custom element so i'll click on add and there are different options like text image button gallery so anything you want to add will be added from this section so let's say i want to add a strip and it's a welcome strip so click on this select the strip and right now it's added here because the position we were at was this one so let's say i want to put in here carter's family farm carter's family farm so at first it might not be looking very good but i'm going to be using all those things which i showed you to edit this so first i'm going to reduce the text size and let's bring it to heading 3 i want to use the chelsea market form maybe increase the font size a bit have it in bold so as you can see by default it's been center aligned and i want to underline it as well so once you come to fx i want it to have a a, a sort of an elevated fx so i'm going to choose this one so let's see how that looks yeah that looks pretty nice now i would like to change the strip background because this does not suit a farm's background so let's click on image now as you can already see we've spoken about this section and let's search for farm images and i think i'm going to go with this one and click on change background so once i click on change background okay so now as you can see this button is not quite visible is it so i'd like to change the position of this button so i'm going to click on it and just drag it uh it still isn't very clearly visible so i'm going to be clicking on design now this design option is basically given to you so that you can edit the buttons theming or uh, uh, the design so i'm going to click on themed button and i'm going to choose this particular button and that's it that's how simple it is now one more feature you might notice here is it gives you a customized design option too so you can change the buttons preset designs you can change the fill color opacity and what not so this even lets you control the hover effects so in the regular mode this button's going to look this way and in hover mode it's going to look this way so that's how simple it is and let's reiterate through the steps of editing anything in wix basically you click on any element and hover through each of the options and it will automatically help you or guide you to edit the website so in the end i'd like to show you how you can publish your website so just click publish so once you publish just give a name for your site i'll say family farm and save and continue so wix is processing your website right now and this step usually takes a minute or two and yep it's published so you can click on done and 
it's gonna give you a link so when i click on view site it's gonna show me the site now let's go check out our changes okay so as you can see the zoom in effect has taken place for the image we added and let's check out a customized section guys whoa and look at this even the hover effect works right so that's how simple it is to use wix guys so if you haven't already signed up i'm gonna tell you again do check out the links in the description and do like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you'd like to know thank you for watching the video